In this series, we will be looking at the individual stories of specific Sim PvP players. Sing me a song, and I'll sing along about the story of Sim PvP. We can go on a journey, come along on the server of Sim PvP. Lord One is a very well-known player. He joined Sim PvP on February 28th of 2019, and he is currently the leader of the Church of Francis and Melon Boys Inc. His clan, the Church of Francis, is also a strong member of the Block for Clans. He has been part of many events in Sim PvP history, and therefore his story is extremely long so if you're not into that then maybe this video isn't for you but if you are definitely get some popcorn sit down i don't know drink some like warm milk or something i don't know wrap your like wrap a blanket around yourself because this is going to be a long one and this is all according to lord one himself beginning mondam joined sim on the 28th of february 2019 Spawn was fairly easy to get out of as the only thing stopping me was starvation. Although I played Minecraft around 2010 to 2012, I barely knew anything about it including nether travel so, I used a boat I traveled around 60,000 blocks out and started my first base, with the unique name of Lord One's Cabin. I got bored of that and started asking for friends in chat. MR Meeps answered me, we did some PvP on Cubecraft and, he took me to his base at that time, known as Turtle Beach. A couple of days passed and Mermeeps and his friends were offered to join the newly founded fellowship although Mr. Meeps and his IRL teammates, Tinst, Bacon15, Hailing200 and Fresh Banana TV had their own plans to start a similarly named clan called the Fellowship of the Kittens. The FOC was officially founded in our first official base called Kitten Spear at which point the leader of the fellowship wanted to meet up with us as he wanted to ally with us or something I don't really know. We arrived at the meet location and he tried to crystal us all, alas he failed and ran away as we tried to pursue him, then in spite of this we griefed the meeting location and set a bounty on fellowship members which was around 3 dB which for us at the time was a pretty high. This is what would start the rivalry and conflict between the Fock and the fellowship now known as the War of the Fellowships. Throughout the Fox lifespan we started four main bases including, Kitten Spear, Orem, Syracusei, and Hammer Hall. The main two being Syracusei, our capital and home of Francis's mortal avatar, and Hammer Hall, our industrial base. Also at, Hammer Hall I founded Melon Boys Incorporated, which was my melon supply company. At the end of conflict with the Fellowship, Kitten Spear, and Syracusei were both grieved. Forum was then griefed after Tenst leaked it like half a year later for some reason. Alas one day MR Meeps called for the Fock to be temporarily disbanded, and we all agreed. I was then offered to join a scarred by Quantum Entropy. I stayed there for a bit and built my flippin' sick castle known as Swagalot Castle. This is where I made friends with a lot of YMP members as they were there too. Later on I went to World for some reason and a repair Jewessy was there as well as Javelin Fury. They put me in a small arena and made me fight Tox a lot. I completely destroyed him as well as almost killing Javelin Fury naked with a wooden sword, Javelin then made me a McMafia combat slave. At this point the War of the Fellowships was officially over but the rivalry between X members persisted and more base griefing occurred including the griefing of New Suprigal and the griefing of Semper Idem. This was also around the time I founded Swag Labs, joined YMP, and Jake, the leader of YMP, got jailed. Jake appointed me the leader of Hashtag Egg Gang and I got some of the YMP boys and started a crusade. 
The most notable events in the YMP crusade was Operation Moist Boaz in which we flooded Spawn to stop the siege bombers from blowing Spawn up and also the Battle of Quagsmaria in which me and Clipchip killed Theanly slash whilst naked, although the battle was lost to the city of Yttrium. Around this time, I made friends with Kreapit and joined her base Creadice then Spenpan started griefing it until I killed him, it was later fully griefed by Fluz44. I then started the first Epic Man Trophy PvP tournament with cheesy chips and a couple of slaves newly spawned in at spawn, including 7th Worlds who I befriended and later started the western themed spawn base cool town with. A week later me and another ex foc member, Tinst, founded the base New Hammer Hall. Around this time, me, Tinst and Wolfie, now Ben Wolf, killed the Ender Dragon together and became friends and then invited him and his other IRL friends, Ipixis, and Fire Kraken to, New Hammer Hall. I then fought in the first Blood Bowl and came third, on the 30th of July, Wolfie found the base the capital and old Mr. Strawman base, whilst looking around it a couple of days after, I found a crouch portal to the base Andromeda in the Potion Brewer, and then under Andromeda was a crouch portal to Mr. Strawman's portal hub that lead to the base Golden Sun which then had a crouch portal to the conspiracy base the vault the conspiracy's main storage base. I poked around and accidentally bumped into Javelin Fury and Mr. Strawman. At the base, I went in vis and snuck out, little did I know they knew someone was there and abandoned the base. A couple of days later, under the newly founded clan, the Church of Francis we performed a 8-man invasion raid on all the bases. I found, during the invasion of these bases we found the vault had been blown up by its members. Later when patrolling Golden Sun, Clipchip and Javelin Fury ambushed us, killing two of us causing the rest of us to retreat. To this day, the Church of Francis still uses and lays claim to two of the bases invaded that day in August. Later that month, two more ex foc members, Bacon15 and MR Meeps returned to Simp and joined New Hammer Hall and joined the Church of Francis, then our new pals Wolfie, Ipixis, Fire Kraken, Nagel 101, Lexithelema, Cranberry Warrior, 086 and Unix 2010 joined the church too. By the end of August 2019, the Church of Francis was already one of the biggest and most influential clans on Sim. Then long story short we thought someone found New Hammer Hall so we griefed it and me. Unix and Wolfie founded the base Franciscan. That September, out here Sneezen founded the clan union, the block for smaller clans and the Church of Francis, although not a small clan at the time, joined. A month after, on the 17th of October 2019, Ostrich as head of the Order of Wilbur declared war on the Church of Francis as he felt threatened by our size and influence. This would come to be known as the Holy Wilbur Francis War or just the Holy War. Almost immediately, Ostrich annexed a small Frankilian chapel near Spawn, then annexed the capital. Me and Ely came to the capital and dueled Ostrich for ownership of the capital, to say the least we didn't lose a single duel and, the capital remained ours. Then as our first offense against the Wilburians, we occupied and took over the hashtag get clipchip a girlfriend headquarters at Java Lindsay Hay, a build by Ostrich. Ostrich and cheesy chips came to confront me and Tinst and a epic air battle commenced. It was going well until Tinst had to leave, leaving me to fight both Wilburians in a 2v1. My armor eventually broke and we lost the battle. The rest of the war carried on like this with the advance into enemy territory then a battle to decide ownership. The war was mostly tied until the Battle of Monarchia, which was notable as it was the biggest battle in Simp history. The Battle of Monarchia was a 6v12 in favor of the Wilburians. To no one's surprise the smaller Frankilian army lost, but not before killing a handful of Wilburians. The day after, in denial of the losing streak of battles, we invaded the Wilbarain occupied Syracuse I as it had religious importance to us. We practically won the battle after we killed all Wilburians that came to oppose us. Alas the Wilburians just rejeered and came back, and brought more soldiers with them. I fought until my internet crashed and Ant Hand killed me. At that point I put so much into the war, I literally didn't have any helmets or gapples left. So I surrendered to the Wilburians. A peace conference was held at Verulium. The church was returned most of its territories and the Wilburians were given back theirs. A couple of weeks later, word spread that McMafia wanted to start another war, bigger than the Holy War. 
so I and a couple of other Bloc for Clan senators decided to preemptively attack the McMafia. Our first move was, invading and raiding the McMafia's capital, MC Capital. This war would later come to be known as the Intervention War and it was really gay. Through the war, the BC took over McCapital, Ascaris, Elon Dusk, and B. Bixieland. After Yttrium and the BC took over Ascaris, it was griefed by an unknown. This is also around the time the Dominion joined the war to help McMafia. At this point me and the BC imposed world blockades, attacking any non-friendlies that went into world. Spawn was also a huge theater in the war, but it was mostly dominated by the Dominion. I even died at Spawn a couple of times. Later in the war, my main base one word was leaked to Zephyron, a Dominion grunt, by Cheesy Chips 22 who I thought was my good pal. A little bit after that me and Ant Hand devised a plan to stop End Crystal domination at spawn, by completely flooding the shit out of it. This would be known as Operation MB2, taken after the YMP Crusades Operation Moist Boas. The intervention war lasted around 4 months and killed almost 10 bases so yet it was gay. Around this time, a shithead known as Bombast X Raid and leaked around 10 bases, including my longtime solo base swag lab so I had to abandon that. Okay now this is Dragon so I will be fast with rest. Me and Tenst re-established Melon Boaz Incorporated on the 30th of December and opened up our products, now supply a wide variety of items. I was kicked out of the BC after the sigil conflict because I killed a couple of guys and indirectly helped cause the death of the base sigil. This was also notable as it almost caused the second holy war. I helped with the second siege, mostly commanding the bombers and killing Spaniards. Oh and the Simpson couch was made. I took part in the 2020 Simp Summit. I also took part in the Byzantium war against the city of Byzantium. During this war I helped grief tri and helped kill killed a couple of Byzantium members. The second holy war nearly started again after the Stonetown incident where the church was given ownership over Stonetown and the Order of Wilbur wasn't happy about it. And I had a big part to play in the second Hispanic panic by killing probably over a hundred Spaniards and raiding multiple Spanish bases. It's also notable that I was a member of Yttrium before its raid and a member of Craftablia. In mid-February 2020, me and Ipixus founded the base two words. Early to mid-2020 saw the rise of the Church of Francis's empire and growth in popularity and membership to the point where it is now the biggest clan in simp history. So yeah that's most of it. Jeez, see what I mean? That's literally 12 minutes. <laughs> but anyways, I think it was for the most part entertaining and nice to listen to. But anyways, I will see you next time. I've been Lord Pasta, and goodbye. Uh,